So guys, I'm just hanging out at the Mazda of Turnersville dealership. Because my car gets free oil changes for life. Problem is, I like doing my oil changes. So, I don't know what to do with myself right now. I've never been in this position before where I have to wait for somebody else to just fiddle around with my car's fluids. Ew. So I'm just, I don't know, I got an hour. I don't have a car to drive anywhere. So I'm just wandering around looking for stuff to do. There's nothing to do. All the cars look basically the same. <sighs> Hi, excuse me. Uh, I had a couple questions. Do you have some time to go over them? Okay, uh, I think that was a yes. Uh, so I just wanted to know if you know Jeffrey's car at all. Uh, I see. Uh, he was on the other side a lot, so you didn't really talk much, huh? That's cool, like, do you guys, I don't know, did you wear like pen pals or anything? Okay, I'll leave. Hey, so I was, uh, I was hoping I could talk to you real quick. I just want to know what the working conditions were here at Mazda Turnersville. I mean, like, you can talk to me about it. I have no issue with that. Oh, they got you under, oh God. But does the contract explicitly state that you can't talk to anybody about it? I feel like they have to have some whistleblower policy. So, have they mistreated you at all? You don't need to turn your back on me. Ah, uh, this is where the real deviants lie. So how long has it been for you? You know what I'm talking about. When was the last time somebody filled around with your drive shaft? Come on. When was the last time you've been for a ride? Did they drive you hard? Or was it a nice smooth drive? <laughs> All right, cool. Girl, you look like you've been around the block. Okay, I'll, I, I'll leave now. Oh my God, they're squeaking. Ah. I'm blue. Daba D Daba Die. Daba D Daba Die. Daba D Daba Die. Yo, what you guys do to get put back in the corner, huh? You guys back here doing some dirty stuff? What? What? What'd you say? Ah, no, no, no thanks, man. How about you? What are you doing back here? You too? Jeez. How about you? What are you stomping out? Oh, yeah, now I see why you guys are back here. Okay. So what are your thoughts on our current president? You don't know, it's outside your comfort zone? Okay, I understand. So do you believe in any sort of religion at all? Not even Scientology. Okay, okay. But like, do you believe in aliens? Dude, that's far-fetched even for me. So even after interviewing all these cars, I still don't feel like, hmm. Wow, I'm gonna waste 15 minutes. Oh. So bored. Oh my god, it took forever to get out of there. Oh, that was like a whole hour and five minutes. That's a whole five minutes past the estimated time that they said it was gonna take. I could have done it in 30, maybe 35. God, it's miserable outside. Ugh. Yes, bow to your master. You want to know what I'm doing right now? Guess. You're not going to guess. Right now, I'm editing a new channel trailer. What? Who's that guy? It looks kind of like me. Is it me? It's me. I haven't updated my channel trailer in a while, so if you are watching this and you're not a current subscriber then you're probably gonna see this old channel trailer which I don't even know what I say in it but I figured you know what I just started doing this full time there's been a lot of changes I want something that reflects those changes in my life not on my channel in my life and my channel yeah so this has actually been taken up I filmed it two days ago and it's still not up yet because I have to find time to vlog and do this so it's this whole thing. Meanwhile, my YouTube videos that are up, uh, ads just are not showing up on them. So that's that's cool. I'm, I'm gonna be playing around with how I upload these. Maybe if I do scheduled, 
like a day in advance, like this one. This one is what I'm doing a day in advance, just to test the waters. Because I don't know why ads just aren't popping up on it, because it's kind of necessary. Yeah. Weird. Oh, Miss Wella. Who wants to come here? I got some new toys for you. Miss Wella. Come here. Yeah, she said. Hey, hey, what the heck? Where do you think you're going? Come on. Come on. Get in there. No. No, you go in there. That's a, that's a good girl. Yes, go in here. Go ahead. Oh, you know something's up. Come on. Come on. That's a good girl. Yay. He's gonna get your teeth first brush. For the first time ever in the nine years and come other months that you've been alive. Let's see these. Let's see these. Oh. Yeah, you need these. Yeah. You eat too much dirt. No, oh, you're not happy already. So guys, I don't know if you're able to make out exactly how dirty these dogs teethers are. But I just ordered off Amazon a doggy toothbrush. Double side. I guess this is for the canines. <sighs> and then I also got beef flavored doggy toothpaste. I didn't know such a thing existed, but I'm glad I looked because I don't think she would much appreciate Colgate extra whitening. That's what these get. Ouch. Can you smell it? Here, we're going to brush your teeth. See? Ella, how's your breath now? Is it squeaky? Does it taste like beef? Does it taste like beef toothpaste? Does it? Are you mad? You're so mad. Oh my god, I love this thing. I love this thing. You ever see a thing like this? You see a thing like this? This is like one of those erg machines as the rowers call them, all the crewmates. I don't know what the guy call a rowing machine. Rowing machine works just fine for Jeffrey. Have I told you I love this machine? Good beats, nice beats. Oh, look at all the beats. All the beats, all the beats. So guys, in my search for a certain prop to be used in my new channel trailer, I looked in Jesse's room, I looked in the basement, I looked all over the house, and there was one spot I didn't think to look for this prop was in my own room. And the reason I didn't think this was because it was so long ago. But I just, I just took a little peek. And what is this, guys? Let's see. Ah, it's big boy. God. Okay, come on, little guy. I mean, big guy. Okay, there you are. Oh, look at that. Ain't she a beaut? Like, how do I still have this? Oh, it's a little heavy. I'll have to use both hands. Ah, nope, one. Ah. Oh, there it is. In all its glory. With my brother's name on it. But you know what guys? We're gonna get our own very, very soon. Because the way you guys have been subscribing and continue to subscribe and continue to watch, there's nowhere to go but up. And we're gonna build that momentum and keep on going. And one day, I'll have my own big button. Although technically I kind of already have my own since I've apparently had this stash under my bed since the Psycho series. I'm kind of surprised Jesse hasn't even asked for it. Not that I'm complaining. Oh no! Is this all sap? What the heck kind of tree has sap on it? That's an oak tree! What the heck? Oh. So right now I'm in the parking lot of one of my political parties functions, not a uh, township committee function, and we're just kind of getting things prepared because they have candidates that are running this year, and I'm I'm here to support my party. <laughs> Democrat! I don't know how I'm going to support anybody. Uh, I just brought, like, typical things. I got the annual financial statement. I got, that's for 2016. You know, Pitts Group has 9,393 people as per the last census. Crazy. 
crazy. I got the 2017 budget. Look, look, look. There's there's my name. There's my name. That's my name on there. Yeah, I I, I, I did stuff with it. <laughs> uh, and what else? What else? And then I also have our 2016 audit report. So I, I bring the financials to the table, you know. It's really weird being a creative individual and handling all these non-creative things like accounting things. I don't know. I'm already bored, but I'm going to stream tonight. <gasps> and Doomfist came out today.